Look, you allowed the flirt a little bit. From indies to big budget movies, from writing to directing and producing, this Hollywood talent is heading to the NHL. I'm Terry Stanley, and in this week's Power Player, I speak to Ed Burns about his next movie. Now you're talking my language. Now I like the way you're thinking. Ed, what made you want to do the movie Turk based on Derek Sanderson's life? My uh, producing partner, Aaron Lubin, who produces all of my films, got involved with the project, um, and at a certain point while they were developing the screenplay, asked if I also wanted to get involved as a producer. Um, read an early draft of the script, thought it was terrific, was familiar with the story, and I said, yeah, instead of Aaron doing it independently, why don't we both come on and uh, we'll do it together. At some point during the development process and the writing of the script, Doug, the filmmaker, said, hey, you know, it's not a huge part, but how would you feel about playing Derek's dad? Given that I was already involved with the project, very passionate about it, thought the script was terrific, and, you know, father-son story, redemption story, a story about friendship, these are the kind of themes that I play with as a filmmaker in my films. Um, so it was kind of a no-brainer for me to, to jump in. There are little things about Harold, Derek's dad, that sort of reminded me, there are certain qualities that reminded me of my dad, so I kind of, I think I have a good take on who that type of man was. Now, have you, you haven't cast the movie yet, correct? We have not cast it, no. We're okay. sort of, we're quite honestly, I mean, when you're casting a film, uh, you really get one shot to go out right. to the talent. So now we feel like we're pretty much at the spot where the script feels like it's in terrific shape. Um, but I, I'm, I know we have a couple of minor little notes. We'll do one more draft and then we'll go after our guy. In a perfect world, who would you choose? I really don't. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm an actor in the film and while I'm also a producer, you know, uh, I know what it's like when you're the writer-director right. and when it's your baby. But this is a trickier part because you're going to need someone who obviously is a great actor. But you need someone who has some ability, some sense of the game, <laughs> is going to be able to get around on skates. Right, and now that the hockey lockout's over, this is excellent timing. Uh, the timing could not be better. Could not be yeah, better. Yeah, hockey fans are very happy today. <laughs> are you working with a major studio for the film? Uh, not as of yet. I mean, the way that these films get off the ground is you put together the best possible package that you can. Mm -hmm. That package includes, hopefully, a great screenplay, which we have, um, a filmmaker, uh, producers, uh, and then you start to build your cast. Once you have that together, that package, that's when you take that project out to the town. Let's talk a little bit about some of the a couple of the movies that put you on the map. Uh, back in the 90s, uh, when you wrote, produced, directed, and starred in The Brothers McMullen and She's the One. Yeah. And The Brothers McMullen, I have to tell you, is one of my favorite movies. Thank you. you wove uh, family and sports into those movies. Um, are any of those characters based on some of your re real life experiences growing up in Long Island? Uh, yeah, yes and no. You know, I mean, like those two films and even my last film, uh, you know, Fitzgerald Family Christmas, the three of those films, those characters come from the world that I come from. Um, so they grew up in the same towns, they went to the same schools, they drank in the same bars, they know the same people. Um, but I'm smart enough never to base anyone on anyone in my real life for fear that, you know, they might want to a, either, you know, not invite me home for Christmas or potentially, you know, uh, ask me out to the parking lot. Okay, so those were smaller films, uh, low budget, you did it in I don't know how many weeks, and it was really an amazing story. And then you've done big blockbusters like Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. So which, do you prefer one versus the other? I'm very lucky in that I have this interesting career and in that I get to play in both worlds. You know, for me, as a writer-director who likes to make small personal films, mm -hmm. um, the fact that 17 years later I still get to do it, people still care, right. that, that's kind of amazing. However, I lucked into this other acting career and I've gotten to work in, with Tom Hanks and right. Spielberg and Saving Private Ryan, I've gotten to work with De Niro, Dustin Hoffman, you know, you get to go and play with your heroes. Let's go back just to the Fitzgeralds just for a second. So again, a lot of family members in the Fitzgerald, but yet a darker tone, a darker style. Are you moving towards that? Um, you know, McMullen was lighter and more comedic. And when I sat down to write Fitzgerald, I thought, I don't want to sort of repeat myself tonally. Mm -hmm. You know, there are enough similarities in their experiences and the film's uh, milieu, I guess, right. that tonally I wanted to make sure 
that there was a big difference. So uh, you're an actor, you're a producer, you're a director, you're a writer. What's next for Ed Burns? Like making movies is all I've ever wanted to do. I still love it. I know plenty of people who, for whatever reason, they have fallen out of love with their thing. Mm -hmm. And I just feel very lucky that I still love it. And that's all that I, I want to do, you know? And like I said, keep making my little ones. Yep. And uh, periodically, hopefully the phone keeps ringing where I get to act with the, you know, in the bigger budget films. Uh, thank you very much for doing cool. this interview for Style Boston. And, thank you very uh, much. Love to have you here. Yeah, Thanks. appreciate it. Okay. Boston, I mean, you're a Red Sox fan. Mm -hmm. Red Sox, Pats, Celts. Yes. Now, why, why would you go and do that and ruin what I thought was a pretty good thing we got going on here? What makes you think this was a good thing?